Government may have to fork out more than 280 million rand to compensate the families of the victims of the life Esedimeni tragedy. A settlement agreement has been reached between government and lawyers representing patients and their families, uh, the pa families of patients who lost their lives. This is family lawyers are still arguing for more compensation for breach of constitutional rights, such as the right to life and dignity. The final figure will, however, be determined by arbitrator uh, Judge Dikhan Mosineke. Ntomfuti Laza lost her brother. She is among 144 families whose loved ones died in the most deplorable of manners. <laughs> the gruesome details surrounding her brother Joseph Gumede's death still fresh. The way this happened is so painful. We still haven't healed. As I speak, my mother is in hospital. And this is what the state is proposing as a settlement for her and hundreds of others for their emotional trauma. In respect of claim A, which is funeral expenses, the agreement is that 20,000 rand will be paid to each claimant. In respect of claim B, which is the common law claim for emotional shock and psychological injury, the amount that been, has been agreed upon is 180,000 rand per claimant. But the advocacy group says that too is not enough and wants constitutional damages to be considered. The reverend's evidence in relation to his son Billy, who was so hungry that he, when eating a bag of chips, licked the packet clean. Mr. Mokhwarani testified that when he visited his brother at Reba Fenyi, his brother had lost so much of weight that Mr. Mokhwarani could not recognize him. The facts of the case are so shameful that it's difficult to imagine circumstances more deserving of an award of constitutional damages. And in addition to that, a litany of charges against the implicated officials. Well short of, of murder and culpable homicide, many other offenses have been committed. Including perjury. Indeed including falsification, including That's fraud, right. including artery. And the execution of this decision was so reckless that all involved in it are responsible for the harm that's caused. Lawyers representing the survivors also want suitable redress. While a settlement is on the table for consideration, Justice Museneke will have the final say and he has the unenviable task of placing a monetary value on the lives of 144 mentally ill patients. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News, in Parktown, Johannesburg.